hello everyone let us deal with this problem very quickly we are looking for the value of x right solution we have 3x plus square root of x equal to 4 now we cannot add these two because they are not the same thing but we can take 3 x to the other side so 3x will be equal to okay we're taking 3x to the other side right so that means we have um, square root square root of x to be equal to 4 minus 3x okay so that means that square root of x is now the subject right okay if this is the case how do we remove square root from here is by squaring both sides so if I square this then I will equally square 4 minus 3x to the power of 2 so I have to square this as well and then if this is squared let's un okay this will go with this first right x will now be equal to 4 minus 3x to the power of 2 but if you have this to the power of 2, let's follow this standard. a minus b to the power of 2 is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, right? And as it is, our a is 4 and our b is 3x. So I'll write my x here first, being equal to 4 squared minus 2 times 4 times 3x then plus 3x squared because b is taken to be 3x right now from here we have x to be equal to 16 minus 2 times 4 is 8 8 times 3x will give us 24x, then plus 3x squared is 9x squared, right? Okay, so from here, let's arrange this in a better way. We are going to have 9x squared first, then minus 24x. This becomes minus um, x, and this is plus 16 equal to 0. Now we have 9x squared minus 25x plus 16 being equal to 0. This is now a quadratic equation and we can deal with this using um, the formula method, right? And the formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a from here what is our a our a is 9 our b is minus 25 and c is 12 is 16 so x now becomes minus minus 25 will give plus 25 plus or minus we have minus 25 square this minus 4 times a a is 9 then times c which is 16 then the whole of this will be over 2 times a which is 9 okay okay so from here x will be equal to 25 plus or minus we have minus 25 squared will give 625 then minus
from here now x will be equal to 25 plus or minus square root of 625 minus 576 is 49 and this will be over 18 49 is a perfect square so x will be equal to 25 plus or minus um, square root of 49 is 7 so we have 8 over um, 18 over here and this means that we have x to be equal to 25 plus 7 over 18 or 25 minus 7 over 18 okay so if we continue with this if we continue with this we are going to have x to be equal to 25 plus 7 here is giving us some 32 so we have 32 over 18 or on this side 25 minus 7 is giving us 18 so we have 18 over 18 now this means that x is equal to okay um 32 here cannot be divided by 18 directly but um um 4 can go into is it 4 or 2 um okay 2 can go into both of them 2 into 32 is 16 and 2 into um 18 is 9 right okay so on the other side 18 over 18 is giving us 1 okay so what are we saying we are saying that x is equal to 16 over 9 or 1 but this value both of them may not satisfy the the given equation the equation given to us is um, 3 okay is 3x plus square root of x equal to 4 now if I put in 16 over 9 here it means I have 3 multiplied by 16 over 9 plus square root of 16 over 9 and this is never going to give me 4 right because from here we already have almost more than 4 okay because 3 will go here 3 times so we have 16 over 3 plus here we have from square root of 16 is 4 square root of 9 is 3 okay and this cannot be added to give us 1 or to give us 4 rather so this what we have here is not satisfying the equation but if you put in the value of x as 1 it's going to be 3 times 1 which we see give 3 and square root of x is square root of 1 is 1 3 plus 1 will give 4 so simply put the value of x equal to 1 satisfies the equation thank you for watching